My name is Sadia Siddiqui. I'm a pain management physician at Hospital for Special Surgery. So I see patients that have pain, whether it be acute pain or chronic pain that they're having, and it could be in different regions of their body as in the, the neck or the low back, um, and different joints as the knees, the hips, shoulders, um, and just patients even coming with muscular pain, so pretty much the whole body. Pain can be extremely debilitating for patients, and I'm very empathetic to that. So what I really like to do is to look at patients, and the first thing I ask them when they come to my office is, how is this affecting you? How is it affecting your home life? How is it affecting your personal life? How is it affecting your work life? And the key after that is I like to look at the images with the patients. I like to look at their pictures, and I do that with the patients. The reason for that is I feel like patients need to be involved in their care, and they need to know what's going on. So my goal as a physician really is to, for patients to come back after we've done an intervention, after we've done medication management or physical therapy, and really for patients to come back and say, hey, I'm really back to doing the things that I love to do. And it really makes it so gratifying as a physician to know that you've actually helped someone and not just help them, but actually help them for their day-to-day -day functionality. And that's so rewarding. Patients can be coming in for headaches. We call them cervicogenic headaches. And I do nerve blocks and ablations to try to help treat those. And uh, other procedures would be epidurals to try to help with um, in the neck or the low back to try to help with pain for herniations or spinal stenosis. Uh, furthermore, I do injections into the muscles called trigger point injections that can help with some of the muscular pain. And uh, other interventions would be joint injections by putting steroids in or visco supplementation, which would be putting in a honey type of material into the joint to help it. So complex regional pain syndrome is a condition that I treat where the pain is disproportionate to what we're seeing on imaging. And it could very much affect patient's quality of life. So I try to really target a treatment plan for the patients, whether it's doing a sympathetic nerve block to try to help to mitigate the pain symptoms, or it's using different medications or occupational or physical therapy to help treat their pain because it is very complicated. All of the procedures that I do use the latest image guidance. By that, I mean I use either ultrasound guidance, which is a little computer that I can bring into the room, or fluoroscopy, which is an x-ray that I can use in the operating room.